Hey guys, what's up? It's Anthony here and I got an awesome video for you guys today. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how you can become a Part 107 licensed pilot here in the United States. It is an awesome thing to do right now. There are so many jobs in the field of drones. It's awesome. It, it's just, it's a great time to do it. So congratulations to you on taking this step forward, taking some action and figuring out what you're going to need to do in order to get your Part 107 license. So there are a couple things you need to know. First, you need to be at least 16 years old. You need to be able to read, speak, write, and understand English. You need to be in a physical and mental condition to safely fly a drone, and you need to pass the initial aeronautical knowledge exam, which, by the way, I have done. This test is very, very easy, but I'm gonna tell you a mistake that I made. I went and took the test without fully studying and without being prepared. I was an excellent drone pilot, and everybody was telling me, you know, you're gonna nail it, you're gonna do it, you're gonna pass. No, you need to study for at least two weeks, you know, give yourself some time to really know the material. So if you pass the exam, you're gonna always need to keep that license within arm's reach if you're flying the drone. It doesn't matter if it's for recreational or business purposes, you need to have that license with you if you have it. Another thing you need to know is the license is only valid for two years. So that means every two years, you're gonna have to take the test. Now it's no big deal because the test is super short. When I took the test, it was 60 questions. Now I'm hearing it's around 40 questions. So it's not the hardest test. Step one, you want to study. Step two, after you study and you feel comfortable with the material, you want to schedule your appointment with a knowledge testing center. These are centers that the FAA allows to administer the exam. From my experience, I was told by the people on the phone to bring two pencils, a calculator, and to leave my cell phone in the car. Basically, just want to go with pencils and a calculator, and that's it. Do not want to bring your phone, your Apple Watch, or anything. You also want to make sure that you bring your government ID, so that would be your license or a passport. Now, let's talk about the topics on the test. By the way, I'm reading this directly off of the FAA's website. Applicable regulations relating to small unmanned aircraft system reading privileges, limitations, and flight operation. Airspace classification and operating requirements and flight restrictions affecting small unmanned air operation. Aviation weather sources and effects of weather on small small unmanned aircraft performance, small unmanned aircraft loading and performance, emergency procedures, crew resource management, radio communication procedures, determining the performance of a small unmanned aircraft, physiological effects of drugs and alcohol, aeronautical decision making and judgment, airport operations, maintenance and pre-flight inspection procedures. So I know that that sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's a really easy test if you study and it's not a lot at all. You just need to find good study material. I'll leave a link to an app below that I use to study that helped me pass the test. Step three is after you have passed the test, you just need to go on to IACRA. You need to register your new part 107 license you will get a temporary copy when you leave and the real physical copy will come in the mail which hold on i actually have mine so basically this is what it looks like um it's just you know my certificate number and just information about me it does have my old address however i have changed that online but yeah this this is what it looks like uh at least this is what it used to look like i actually took the test a year ago i'm hearing you know a bunch of stuff changes with that so you never know they may not look like this anymore this is cool and i hope they still do look like this in the future i'm definitely going to make a course on study material what exactly you need to know this video was just telling you a general idea of what it takes to get a part 107 license definitely subscribe to the channel like this video and comment below let me know are you guys going to get a part 107 seven license do you already have one did i miss anything in this video but yeah thank you guys for watching i look forward to making more videos for you guys in the near future peace out